Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Hi, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are going to make a really easy salmon pastry dish. We're going to use ready roll pastry. We're going to mix up some cream cheese, some spinach, a little bit of chili, a bit of seasoning, and we are going to put it inside the pastry and cook it in the oven. Now, there are hundreds of recipes all over the place. This is my way. This is what I like, and this is the way I'm going to show you. Now, I hope you enjoy it, and if you do, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe. Share with your friends, give it a go, and let me know in the comments below. Right, now this starts with actually taking some skin off the salmon. Now, if you have skinless salmon pieces, that's fine. This has got skin on, we're going to have to take the skin off. Dead easy. All we're going to do is get our knife, just ease it under that skin, hold it down and nice and gently under, pull gently down as you're pushing through as you're cutting and now our salmon has now got no skin on. Do that with as many pieces of salmon that you're using. Okay, now what I like to do, I like to pan sear my salmon. You know, many people put the salmon in, cook it straight in the pastry. That's all well and good, you know, the salmon leaks all over. And okay, it does leak a little bit when you pan sear it. You know, you're putting the salt and pepper on the salmon, you're searing it off, you take it out to cool. Whilst it's cooling, we crack on with the filling and that takes on all the flavour from the salmon that's come out in the pan. Uh, this is an easy recipe, guys, and really tasty. So what we need to do, we need to salt and pepper our salmon. Put the seasoning on the salmon. A bit of salt. A bit of pepper. Turn it over, a bit of salt on there, and a bit of pepper. Now by doing it this way, we're seasoning the salmon. So we need to take a pan. I've got a little pan because we've only got two small pieces of salmon. But I'm going to go in with just a tiny splash of oil. And I go in there with a lump of butter. So all we're going to do is pan sear this salmon nice and gently. Now we're not going to cook it all the way through. We want a little bit of sear on one side, sear on the other side, take it out. So all we're going to do is put our salmon fillets in there. Now, like I say, it's just a little bit of sear on here. Nothing drastic. Don't try and crisp it. Don't try and burn it. Just sear the outside of the salmon so the seasoning is actually on the salmon. Turn it over. Now, this is very quick. The fish is still going to be raw in the middle. Not a problem, it's going to cook in the oven. Okay, take out of the pan, nice and gently out of the pan and let rest. So that's our salmon on our plate, we let that cool down. Right, in this little pan, with all that nice bit of salmon stuff going on in there, so we'll get our onions in. And we want to be going in with our garlic. Nice little stir around. Now, take the heat down a little bit. We only want to cook these translucent. We want that bit of a flavor. And then what we want to do, we want to go in with a couple of handfuls of spinach. Now the spinach is going to wilt down. It's going to look a lot in the pan. Don't worry about it.
Now I'm going in with a little pinch of black pepper, a tiny pinch of salt, and I'm going in with a pinch of red chili flakes. Give that a little mix in. Oh, that's looking fantastic. Okay, I've got a, a handful of grated parmesan and we're going to go in with about two tablespoons, good tablespoons of cream cheese. Just stir it all in so it all melts in there. Oh, the smell. And then we want to be going in with some breadcrumbs. And that's going to basically absorb all that liquid in there. And we get this lovely stodgy mess. And that is going to be perfect for our base. So that's our filling done. Turn off the flame. And then what we need to do, we need to let this cool down. If we put this on the pastry, the pastry is going to melt. So this has to cool down. Okay, oven is on. It's on about 200 degrees. Let's make up these pastry salmons. Okay, we've got a, a quite decent piece there, but what we're going to do, we're going to cut this in half. About there. Now you can do this two ways, you can put the filling on the bottom, stand the salmon on there or you can stand the salmon on, put the filling on top of the salmon before we fold it in. Entirely up to you. Now just come slightly past the centre. There we go. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take some of that filling and put that filling on there. Now we want a good amount of that on top of our salmon. But don't forget we've got to roll this up so don't go too bananas. Here comes the fun part. This is the fun part where it goes everywhere because we're only using a small piece of uh, pastry. What we're going to do is just get, take a little bit of our milk wash and we're just going to come round the edge of there. We want something to stick to, you know, and this is our glue. So take your pastry and off we go. Bring that up there like that. Okay, and you'll see why we came just over halfway. And then what we need to do is take our other piece of pastry and bring it over the top of that one and then we don't have the difficult procedure of trying to roll it all over so there we are there's our first pastry let's do the second one okay again you're watching watch carefully bring that up there like that bring that over there like that that's it that's our parcels then we're going to fold in the side look you can see in there now we want to just take that down like that and we want to fold it over like that and tuck it down do the same at the other side just tuck it down like that. We'll do the other one. So at the moment, don't forget, our filling is on the top of here. So when we turn it over onto the tray, the salmon will be to the top. We'll turn it that way around. Okay. Then we need to be taking our parcel and put on there. Like that. Take our second one. And then what we want to be doing is taking a fork and we're just going to crimp the edge. You don't have to, but you know, it gives a little bit of a pattern on there. 
So just crimp the edge of your pastry. So we're going to just milk wash our pastries. And then up to you whether you just put a couple of slits in there or you put some design on. Entirely up to you. Sharp knife, bit of a design. Flip it round and we're going to go the other way. We're going to put a crisscross all over this like a fish scale. That is our salmon parcels or salmon, salmon on croot or stuffed salmon, whatever you want to call it, up to you. All we need to do now is shove that in the oven 200 degrees about 20 minutes. Now that is what we are talking about. Look at that. Now does that look like a fish with a fish tail and some scales? It sure does. Right, what we need to do is put that to cool. Put it on there to cool down about 10 minutes and then we're going to cut a slice. Okay, that's cooled a little bit. All we need to do now is cut into this and do the reveal. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is absolutely, oh, it smells fantastic. That is superb. Oh, come on, let's get this, give it a go. Come through there. Are we ready for this? Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Oh. Oh man, that is fantastic. Oh, I could have done with a little bit more seasoning in there, I think. I could have done with a bit more salt, a bit more pepper. It's only just seasoned enough. Could do with a bit more. That is delicious. Mmm. 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 Now, if you like what we're doing, smash that like and subscribe. Share with your friends. All that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.